Hello and welcome back to the part 3 of the solution of a transportation problem with degeneracy. That is, number of occupied cells at initial stage are less than m plus n minus 1. That means RIM condition is not satisfied. Here there are 5 columns and 4 rows, so at least 8 cells must be occupied. But in the initial stage, there were only 7. And in the first part, we discussed about the situation of degeneracy and how to overcome it by selecting one or more required number of cells to treat them as deemed occupied cells and then only we can write the UI and VJ values and then only we can calculate DIJ values and then we can arrive at the conclusion whether the solution is optimal or not and in the second part we found that by calculating DIJ values, the solution is not optimal and then we created a closed loop and ultimately we concluded that the epsilon is shifted to this cell because these two cells had negative one value in the previous lecture part two of the solution. Now this is part three. So this is revised solution and let's first write UI and VJ values and then calculate DIJ values and check whether this is uh, optimal solution or not and again I want to write 0 here you can write in your own way or you can follow me C minus U will be V 6 minus 0 is 6 and 1 minus 0 is 1 now on the basis of these two, we can write two u values. On the basis of these two, c minus v, 7 minus 6, 1 is u. And similarly, with the help of this cell, c minus v, 3 minus 1 will be 2. And on the basis of these two, we can write this, c minus u, 0 minus 2, minus 2 will be the v5 value. Okay, then on the basis of this and this, we can write V. C1 minus U1, V will be 0, this is V2. And on the basis of these two cells, now this is occupied cell. C1 minus V0, so U will be 1, this is U3. And on the basis of this U3 and this occupied cell, C0 minus U1, so V will be minus 1, that is V3. Okay, so in this way, this shows the importance of substituting epsilon in an unoccupied or empty cell. Only after that we can write all U, I and VJ values. We have already discussed this point in part 1 of the solution. Now we have all U, I and DJ values, VJ values, so we can calculate DIJ values for all unoccupied or empty cells. First is 1B, D of 1B, that is 9, sorry not 9, but it is 4 minus U is 0 plus relevant V is also 0. 4 minus 0, 4. It is positive. That means if we allocate any quantity to this cell, the total cost will increase. Total transportation cost will increase by rupees 4 per unit. Now, 1C. 9 minus 0 plus minus 1. That means 9 minus minus 1, it is 10. D, 1E. 0 minus 0 plus minus 2 0 minus 0 plus minus 2 it is 0 minus minus 2 that is positive 2 now it's turn off row number 2 plant 2 d 2 1 or 2 a rather c is 20 minus relevant u is 2 plus relevant v is 6 2 plus 6 that is 20 minus 8, that is 12. D to B, B of 2B. 
6 is C minus U is 2 plus relevant V is 0. 6 minus 2 positive 4. As far as we get positive DRA values, we cannot, uh, sorry, we need to move forward to check whether there is there any negative DIA values or not. If there is no negative DIA value, this can be treated as optimal solution. D 2 C 11 minus 2 plus minus 1. That means 11 minus 1, 10. Now it is turn off B, uh, sorry, roll, uh, row number 3. 3A, 7 minus 1 plus 6. 7 minus 7 equals to 0. I will interpret this 0 later on. Let's first, first of all calculate all the age values. D, 3, D. 14 minus 1 plus 1, 14 minus 2, 12, B, 3, E, 0 minus 1 plus minus 2, that is 1, sorry, 0 minus minus 1, that is positive 1, yes, now it's turn off row 4, 4, C, B of 4, C, it comes to 12, so the C is 12, U is 1, plus minus 1, 12 minus 0, 12, 4D, D, 4D, 6 minus 1 plus 1, 6 minus 2, 4, and the last one, D, 4, E, C is 0, plus U is 1, sorry, minus U is 1, plus minus 2. So it is 0, minus, minus 1, 1. So, first of all, the conclusion is, there is no negative DIJ values. So this is the optimal solution. But, this is not the unique optimal solution. It is one of the multiple optimal solutions because one of the DIJ values is zero. The DIJ value zero indicates that if we allocate, rather, if we go for closed loop from this cell and go for reallocation, we can have another optimal solution but the cost will not change. The total transportation cost will remain the same in that revised optimal solution. So this is one of the multiple optimal solutions. But the main thing is this is optimal solution. So let's calculate the cost again. 30 units into rupee 6 plus 10 units into rupee 1 plus 20 units into rupees 3 plus 20 units into rupees 0 because this is dummy column plus this should not be considered 50 units into rupees 0 plus 60 units into rupees 7 plus 30 units into rupee 1. <coughs> That is 180 plus 10 plus 60 plus 420 and plus 30. Total goes to rupees 700. See in the inception when we started solving this problem, the total cost total transportation cost of the model of the plan suggested by a clerk was also rupees 700. But now we know that total cost remains the same. So that was also one of the optimal solutions that kind of comment can be made. But in the first part we already discussed that we were not in a situation whether the proposed 
transportation plan is optimal or not because there were only seven occupied cells and in a table having five row five columns and four rows we need 5 plus 4 minus 1 equals to 8 at least eight occupied cells we didn't have eight occupied cells at that stage we had to go on the other way and now only we can say that this is optimal solution or more precisely this is one of the multiple optimal solutions but the main focus of solution of this problem was on the situation of degeneracy in the first part we discussed the situation of degeneracy and how to overcome it in detail that's it thank you very much